the friends. In this video, I'm gonna show you three simple 10 minute meals I'm eating to get my leanest body ever. I've been working on getting in the best shape I possibly can and I'm loving the results I'm getting. I'm the leanest I've ever been. And to keep myself motivated and on track, I've been creating tasty, quick, and easy to prep meals because one, just like most of you guys, I don't have time to spend hours prepping meals, nor do I want to. And two, if my meals aren't tasty and I don't look forward to eating them, I'm not gonna stay on track. And meals like this, they're not just helping me get my leanest ever, they've also helped me lose 130 pounds and keep it off for seven years. And since you guys are often asking for new, quick and tasty meal ideas, I thought I would share them with you in case they help motivate you to stay on track on your own journey so let's get into it so we've got three meals one is gonna be a breakfast and the other two they're versatile they can be used as lunches or dinners so let's get into it the first one breakfast it's a bacon egg and waffle sandwich I thought I'd spice up my normal breakfast um, so I toasted some whole grain waffles and I used them like kind of as the bread for the sandwich. So while those were toasting, I preheated two pans. One, I cooked on medium high heat. I cooked some applewood smoked turkey bacon and I made three slices, one for the next meal and two for the sandwich. I cooked them on medium heat. I sprayed it a bit with cooking spray first, the pan, and two to three minutes per side or until like you like the crispiness of it. And then while the bacon was cooking, I also had eggs cooking on the other pan. I preheated that pan on medium heat, sprayed it with cooking spray, and I literally just put two large eggs in the pan, put a little bit of salt, cooked two to three minutes until the eggs set a bit, then I flipped it, cooked it one more minute, and then I spread my toasted waffles with one teaspoon of unsalted butter per waffle, so two teaspoons total, and then I put my two eggs on top of one waffle, then my bacon, then I put the other waffle, and I made a sandwich, and it was delightful. It's like, whoa, who knew you could use waffles like that? It was so good, super quick. In the time the waffles toasted, I had everything ready, and literally like less than 10 minutes to make, and perfect breakfast. Um, 448 calories, 20 grams of protein, 28 grams of fat, and 27 grams of carbs. I went for an hour of cardio after I ate that breakfast and it kept me super full and fueled my cardio and I was motoring, like whew, I had energy. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next meal, I ate this as a lunch but it can also be eaten as a dinner. It's a chicken Caesar salad, but to make it super quick, I bought the pre-cooked chicken strips from Walmart and these were the Great Value brand Sweet Barbecue was the flavor and I basically just took five of those strips, I chopped them up into little pieces and I microwaved them to heat them up for about 30 seconds. If you like it cold, you can skip that step, but I like it warm. Then I put three cups of romaine lettuce which is literally just one of those romaine heart bags chopped up already, so you don't have to do any prep. I just put three cups in the bowl, then I put on a teaspoon of grated Parmesan cheese, half of one of those turkey bacons that I told you I cooked earlier. I just cut up half of the slice into little pieces as my bacon crumbled, and then I put a tablespoon of just regular Caesar dressing that you can get at the store and topped it with my chicken, tossed it up, ate it. That was like five minutes to make that. Super tasty and perfect lunch. And I'll tell ya, the jolly old cows was 250 calories, 31 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat, and eight grams of carbs. And before I tell you the last one, I just wanna say, um, 
just uh, the calories are an estimate. It'll depend on what you're using. So I'm not a professional calorie friend. Just do your own cows counting, okay? Number three, <laughs> um, I literally just ate this before filming, O-M-G. Loaded chili baked potato. This is how you make a baked potato and you speed up the process. I took a medium potato, rinsed it, dried it, pierced it with a fork on all over the place, popped it in the microwave. I cooked it for, you, you cook it for eight to 10 minutes depending on your microwave and I flipped it halfway through. Um, I showed eight minutes on the B-roll but I ended up cooking it for 10 and I just flipped it again. Um, while that's cooking in the microwave, I heated up a can of chili and the one I got was the stag chili and the Silverado is lower calorie. So it's basically beef chili with beans and it's 97% fat free. So I heated that up on low just to heat it through on the pot. While that was happening, um, I already had pre-chopped up veggie sticks, but this would be the time if I didn't have them cut, I'd cut them now. Um, so I measured out one cup of carrot and celery sticks and half a tablespoon of regular ranch dressing. And then I chopped up a bit of green onion and I shredded 30 grams of regular medium cheddar cheese. Once the potato was done, I sliced it in half. I put it in a bowl because it can get kind of messy. And then I topped it with one cup of the chili, 30 grams of cheese, two tablespoons of fat-free sour cream, and then a little bit of salt and pepper and a little bit of the green onion. Oh my gosh, that was like 10 minutes, super quick, super tasty. Super filling too. Really filling, like um, yeah, I'm still really full and normally we eat dessert right after and today we were like, no, let's wait, we're full. So the calories for that, my friends, and this is for the chili, loaded chili potato plus the veggies and dip. It's 597 calories, 28 grams of protein, 19 grams of fat, and 76 grams of carbs. And again, meals like this is what has been helping Sassy, my husband, he's also lost 130 pounds and kept it off for seven years. And these meals have helped us do that, keep the weight off, and getting in the best shape of our lives because we look forward to our meals and they're super quick and easy to make. And that is why we can continue doing it time and time again for this long. If you wanna know exactly what I ate to lose the weight, like aside from meals like I showed you today, I have two weight loss guides, the links are down below. I also have a brand new guilt-free cookbook, link for that is down there. And I have a link for huddled supplements, harder than last time, that these little cuties over here and chocolate donut is one of my favorites when I'm having a chocolate craving. The link for the protein and the supplements is also down below, or you can watch one, two videos for free and see how I love my food, join my journey, and I get lean but not lean, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this vid. I hope you love your food and love your life. I love you. Thanks again. Have a beautiful day. Catch you in the next vid. Yeah. Yeah. Remember the friends that weight loss isn't just about the number on the scale. It's also about here and here. Heart and mindset. Fight through it. You can do it. Don't give up.